Oh, thank you. You killed it. It was <laughs> so refreshing. I felt like I took a breath of fresh air, and I was like, finally, a love story. <laughs> you liked a it. A real leading man. Hey, yes. I'll take it. I'll so take congratulations it. on that. Thank you. So you seem to embody love, right? So <laughs> tell me, tell me, what? How do you know when you're in love? I think. You know when you're in love when whatever situation you're in is 100% about the other person. Mm. Um, I think love is kind of like filmmaking in a strange way. Uh, you enter it and you become a servant of it. You become vulnerable to it. Uh, you in many ways shut yourself out and your desires become secondary. Uh, and then it becomes success, mm. right? Yeah. It's hard to be, it's because it's hard to be completely selfless in a relationship and it's hard to be a servant in a relationship because we have our egos and humility is hard. Yeah, yeah. What's the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Jeez. Well, um, oddly enough, when I met my wife, uh, we met on a bus and I was on my way to practice for sports and uh, I told myself, she was on a bus and I hadn't met her yet, but I knew that I wanted to meet her. I said, if she gets off when I get off, it'll be fate. <laughs> Uh, and I'll talk to her because I'll be right next to practice. I won't get in trouble. All right. And to make a long story short, she didn't get off until like five miles away from where we were, I was supposed to get off. So I got off with her and asked her name. And uh, that was in 1999. Oh. And uh, we've been together off and on since then. And uh, I got in trouble for being late to practice, but <laughs> it, was it worth paid it, off. Right? right? Yeah. I got, God, I need yeah. to ride a bus. Yeah, you yeah, need to ride it, right? Yeah, that man. As <laughs> soon as I leave here, I'm getting that message. Get metro on pass. the bus. Absolutely. Love is on the bus. Yes. Well, speaking of love and chemistry, the chemistry mm. between you and Gugu was crazy. Oh, man, yeah, oh yeah. my God. Well, did you guys spend more time off screen? We did. We, did. we spent yeah. a lot of time. You know, um, it's a testament to Gina's vision. You know, her mm -hmm. thing was you know, rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. So we rehearsed some scenes, we did a lot of improv. Um, she sent us on a date and then sent like 50 paparazzi and oh. so we were running and I'm covering her up and uh, and we went to Disneyland. Oh my and, God. Uh, we rode rise and we had our little Mickey headband ears on. Um, we had a really good time. She's easy, she's easy to like right. as a person and really easy to love as a character, you know, because she works hard. She's, you know, her discipline, her, her uh, work ethic is just second to none. Mm. Um, you know, so she just made it easy. It isn't always that easy, you know? Yeah, I, I, I get it, but yeah. I think it's kind of easy to love you too, maybe, possibly, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh. Um, I would love to talk to you because every time I speak with you, you're so well-spoken. I mean, I think you were born to be a star. You have all the attributes. Um, but there's something we that's... We need to extend this interview. I know, way. right? I'm gonna do, we're going to do two, back to back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, no, I really, really love you, Nate, and I'm Thank so you. happy for you in this moment. I Thank really you. am. Thank you very but much. one thing that I did want to address is it, the film has you know, a very serious underlining with the fact that we see in the trailer. It sure. looks like she tries to take mm -hmm. her life at right, some point. Right, right. So what advice do you have for people that may be struggling with that feeling of, mm -hmm. you know, do I want to stay or do I want to leave? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, I think that, you know, with life, um, you got to stay in the race. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's like a painting. You know, you look at the greatest paintings, they're not done until they're done. And a lot of times we'll see half a canvas and we'll get discouraged because we don't know we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like someone told me, it's, and I, I kind of take everything to filmmaking, um, but someone told me uh, making a film is like being dropped into the ocean and not be, not seeing land. Mm -hmm. They say you just pick a direction and start going, you know, one stroke at a time. And I feel like that's life. Um, it's hard to see um, what God has in store for us in the now. Mm -hmm. um, but I think when you need encouragement, you look back on what you've got, you know, what you've come through to be where you are. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll give you context as to the future. You know, we're not blessed with foresight, um, but we do have the wisdom of our past to let us know that, you know, the best is yet to, t to come. We just got to stay in the race. Absolutely, stay in yeah. the race. Stay in the race. Yes, and love Nate Parker. <laughs> and go see Beyond the Lights. Yes, And go see everything the that lights. he does, because he is amazing. Thank you. Yes, oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so I much. I appreciate it.